You are welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your teacher again, Science Joseph. Today I've brought for you an interesting learning video on what we call oxidation states or oxidation numbers. But before we start, I request that you, you subscribe this YouTube channel and also like my video. Receive learning videos of how we explain chemistry in a very simple way. Let's dive into today's lesson. Thank you. Continue watching up to the end if you have learned very well. So I'm discussing what we call oxidation state or oxidation number. Now oxidation states and oxidation numbers are used to decide whether oxidation has taken place or reduction has taken place. So I made this video. Before I make a video, for what we call oxidation, reduction, and redox reactions. I'm going to make that video, but I first wanted to post to this. You understand what you mean by oxidation state, oxidation number. Let's dive into the lesson. Oxidation state. What is oxidation state of an element? Oxidation state is actually the number or the charge that represents the total number of electrons that an element has engaged in during chemical bonding with another atom or another element. Now, oxidation state should not be mistaken with valency. Actually, valence has no charge and, and the oxidation state has a charge. So when you are calculating oxidation states, make sure you put there either positive charge or negative charge depending on the answer you have got. Now let's dive into this. Oxidation state will say it is actually the charge or the number or simply the number of electrons you that the number of electrons that any atom of any element has either gained or lost in forming a chemical bond with another atom. Or it can be the charge that would be left on an atom when you have actually removed the other atoms associated with that compound, each with its normal valences. So I've given you two definitions. Now let's dive into rules of assigning oxidation states. The first rule is that the oxidation state of an element in any combined state is zero. So when we say what's the oxidation state of sodium, or what's the oxidation state of chlorine, sodium has oxidation state is zero, if we say the chlorine ClO2, oxidation state is also zero because it has not formed any iron, neither has it bonded yet. Now, number two, oxidation state of a simple iron or any iron formed from only one atom, we call it monoatomic iron. Its oxidation state is actually equal to the charge of the iron. Such as if you are looking at the oxidation state of sodium iron, it is actually positive one. You put a positive just in front of the one. You don't put it as a subscript, nor a superscript. So you can't make oxidation state like this, neither a small one, but it should be a plus sign in front of the, of the, of the number. So oxidation state of a simple end, maybe you can try out oxidation state of fried end, is actually negative one. You just pick the charge or the actual oxidation state. Remember, the valence would be one without a charge, but oxidation state has a charge. Let's take into more rules here. The sum of oxidation states of different atoms in a compound is equal to zero. What do we mean there? A compound such as sodium hydroxide, if we look at the oxidation state here, the overall charge here, we take it to be zero because the compound is not charged, but again, we got the overall charge as the oxidation state of sodium is plus one, oxidation state of hydroxide is negative one. So the overall total gives us zero. Let's dive into the next rule. The sum of oxidation states in a complex ion, when we say complex ion, we mean an ion containing more than one atom, such as we can say manganate ion. Manganate has a negative charge there, this is a complex ion, and other more complex ion. It has manganese and it has oxygen. So this overall oxidation, this overall charge is actually the sum of oxidation states of manganese and four oxygen, 
four oxygen atoms, each having a negative one. There is some NB here. That oxidation state of oxygen is always negative two, but it changes to negative one if it's a peroxide. That is an exception. Even hydrogen has a valence of one, oxidation state plus one, but it changes to negative one if it bonds with metals, such as sodium hydride. Hydrogen would be exhibiting an oxidation state of negative one. Let's now dive into examples. How do you get the oxidation state of an element? Or an atom of an element? Let's dive into that. I told you the use of oxidation states. Why we are discussing oxidation states is to decide whether oxidation has taken place or not in another video. Let's dive into examples. How do you calculate oxidation states? Normally during calculation of oxidation states, we assign the, the atom or the element whose oxidation state you want, we assign it X. Then we solve for that X, and that will be the oxidation state. So let's take it the first example. Calculate the oxidation state of each element. Then we have nitrogen in nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is NO2. We want the oxidation state or oxidation number of nitrogen right there. Let it be X. We say let oxidation state or number of nitrogen be X. So nitrogen dioxide is NO2, so it shall have X. Oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2 because the valence of oxygen is, is 2, therefore being the xenon metal, oxidation is negative 2. So negative 2 times 2, overall charge on the whole molecule has no charge, you make it 0. So by calculation, x minus 4 is equal to 0, so we shall arrive at x as plus 4. So the oxidation state of nitrogen is positive 4. Let's dive into here, sodium and sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is NO, I, o H. We, we let it be Y or some letter. So let it be Y. Y for sodium plus hydroxide, which is negative one. The whole hydroxide is one entity, has a valence of one. Being a radical, a charge is negative one equals to zero. So by calculation, we see that oxidation state of sodium will be positive one. I hope you get that right. Let's try, how do you calculate the oxidation state of chromium in dichromate 6 iron? Dichromate 6 iron is C2 or 7, 2 minus. Let, let us call oxidation state of dichromate 6 iron, of chromium the X, and the oxidation state of chromium the X. So there are two chromium atoms there. So X times 2 plus 7, 4 oxygen but each oxygen has an oxidation state of negative 2. I told you, do you remember that? Look at the valence, then finally put a charge, whether it's a metal or a non-metal or a radical. 